What's up my fellow traders? Hope you're all doing well and I hope you're all having an awesome day. So just landed in UK a couple of hours ago and I was getting lots of messages from traders that what to expect and what to look at as market opened in gap. So in case you're wondering what to do next, I'm here to help and guide as usual and with my daily updates starting with net gas, cold and crude oil today. So what do we have? As you can see, the net gas opened in gap and that was not expected after two rejection from this zone and i was also in a buy trade i entered here after the spin bar and natural gas deceived opened down in gap and i had very small stop loss because i normally don't hold my positions over the weekend just for commodities i do hold my forex positions over the weekend but for commodity i don't normally do that but as i have entered here with a good condition market opened in gap down hit my stop loss and put me out of the trade and now what to expect next from here now as you can see the price open in gap it did push up we test this zone and now pushing down so i'm not buying net gas conditions are changed guys as you know price did open below this previous low and now it's in the bearish area so if we have a pullback the pullback will be 50 and 20 ema that can be also a gap fill if that happens and i will only enter sell trades once i see good few candles pull back followed by a bearish engulfing candle that looks like a sad face <laughs> so once i have that i will enter my sell trade so at this point if we have another pull up here and let's say we have a double top action that will be an also sell condition i won't look for a gap if i get a pullback and retest with a bearish engulfer if i have that move i will enter my trade accordingly and the next major zone is 5.502 goes down to 5.176 so that is what i'm looking at net gas so keep an eye here only look for sell condition once we have a good reason to enter i've just mentioned only buying once the price completely broken above my both EMS, especially 50 EMA. So here on Oanda, similar. If we have, if I have a push up, we can have pullback to 50 EMA, and we can get one candle that can close above 50 EMA, then a bearish engulfer. I will enter my sell trade accordingly. If we have a push down, then this is the zone, the lowest level of support, which is 5.531. If I get good bullish engulfer here, I will look for my buy condition. Before that, we can only expect pullback and only take sell trades. The next zone below the major zone is 5.164 goes down to 4.797. Let's check gold. Okay, gold is now still below the level of resistance and we can still expect some push up and push down. Once we have a hit of this zone with a bear vision golfer, we will take sell trade. But if I see another green, few green candles and then few red candles above 50 EMA and then I will take my buy trade. Don't get confused here. I will only enter my buy trades if we have one more green candle that close above this candle with a pullback with an engulfer. But if I have a push up and then a nice bearish engulfer, then I will take my sell trade. I will keep you guys updated with the moves as well. Let's check crude oil. Right here. So as mentioned last video, we are still not taking sell trade until the price is completely broken below this previous low. At this point, not only look for buy condition. If this candle closed above this 50 and 20 EMA, then we can have another green candle that closed above 50 and 20 EMA. That will be a condition that price is likely to push up and continue with the trend. So not selling crude oil. Look for buy trades only. So that is it for commodities, guys. Any questions, any confusions, you can always buzz me on Instagram. I'll get back to ASAP. Hope you trade green. Rest of the week. See you guys in the next video. Till then, take care. Thank you.